one of the best screen recording app you heard me right best screen recording app is known as the s recorder app quote me anyway s recorder app is so good to the point that everything you really need is already in the app when it comes to recording recording doing tutorials showing your audience what you've got the best app to use is the s recorder app i know most android phone now has the recording of the screen in the phone like an inbuilt kind of yeah but s recorder is actually good because when you have another feature like you showing your audience and also interacting with them like maybe a live session whereby you talk through with them then this app is the go-to app there are many other apps that you can use but this is actually the best you can find out there so today i will be showing you the latest feature of this app and the things it the things it entails and how you can go about it so now let's dive into the app proper the first thing you do to get the latest and the best version of the app is to go to your play store and install the latest version of s recorder app okay and when you are done with that you have it on your phone and it's already installed then open it up and check out these features i will be mentioning and the usefulness of each of these feature and also know about how to get familiar and use them Oh, now let's dive into the course proper. Hi guys, I'm Kausar Abdufatai. I hope you are going through with this tutorial with me. Yeah, come along and watch. I teach and train on video editing and everything YouTube. And so in this course, we will be learning varieties of things. Let's dive into it proper. Alright guys, the first thing you do is to install the app as I said. Now, once you install the app, you open it up, you'll be seeing this feature. Like it will tell you the floating icon enabled, then please enable it. It's actually good, but if you want to off it and you don't want people to know that you actually use extra recorder, then you can turn it off, okay? But I love to turn it on and I'll tell you the reason why. So let's dive into the video proper. So the next thing you do is to display over app. You have to give it permission to display over the other apps or else it will not be able to record. Do you understand? So it has to have permission over other apps so that it will be able to screen record for you properly. And once that feature is turned on, just go to your setting and turn it on. Once it's turned on, then the next thing is for you to go to go to the app and let's dive into the features now once you open your s recorder app all right so once you turn it up as i said it will ask you for permission so you just have to click on allow and allow all the permissions that will enable it to work properly on your phone so look at the interface of the s recorder here we have the start recording that's the item but because i deleted it and i installed it back and the previous video that i recorded while using the app still came in that is it saw the storage on my phone and continued the process so that's the beauty of the app now the next thing is that at this point where we have the cam code move my video away so you can see what i'm talking about this camera that looks like a camp we call it a camcorder something like that so that sign that is what it's looking like let me use my brush to identify it that is what you can use this feature is like the best feature you can get from any other s recorder in short any screen recorder and most screen recorder do not come with this feature so this is one of the things you will love about this app so me having this feature it make it easier for me if i want to do tutorial video i'll use it to teach and make my audience see me and also see what i'm doing and clicking on that's the beauty of using this live cam do you understand so i'm not going to record because once i click on record i will not be able to use my phone recording that i actually used to record this video to teach you everything i'm teaching you here so at this other point we have the timed recording the fag and the tutorial if you want to know more about s recorder after i've finished discussing about this then you can download it and learn from that area then the other side where i just tapped on is where it will ask you to turn or set this particular feature on so that when you are recording you don't just get your video being stopped your video hanging or your recording stopping all of a sudden and all of that so this particular feature is what you have to click on and set so that you will be able to not have those issues so you click on allow and it will also allow you can change this later by going to your settings as it says that's the best part of this app you have full control as the user to do anything you want to do on the app and the next feature we have beside it is the brush so you use that brush to mark while you are recording while you are teaching while you are doing a training you'll be able to click and circle and make changes like the way i'm doing now that's the function of that brush 
so when i click on this particular down area that plus button you have to record and we have live stream so you can also go live with your s recorder and do a training like live stream on youtube live stream on instagram live stream on facebook tiktok anything that's another feature i'm so proud of this app and the next thing we have is the pencil icon to show you the tools that you can also use the recorder to edit pictures to edit your videos even though it's just short, short things that you can do i usually tell people that want to do anything recording just take it to your editing apps and continue from there but if you know you just want to do little things then you can do it with the s recorder too but for proper editing just take it to your editing app okay so the next thing is the next two which is the setting of the app and i love to always set my settings so the setting here when you turn it off from the microphone it makes it easier that when you are doing your live stream when you talk when you speak you are able to and uh, it captures the recordings of your voice and everything rather than muting it that it's just recorded plainly then later you go to your editing app and start using your voice to talk on the recorder do you understand so that's another feature you can turn on and also the spacings can you see all the spaces the setting of the video orientation make, make sure that wherever whenever you want to record you have set your phone into the landscape or the portrait format before you start and also your recording mode maybe you want it in the normal mode or you want it in the professional mode whereby it doesn't or performance mode whereby it doesn't disturb whenever you are recording and everything stays still so when you are done recording do you get and when you want to on your countdown maybe you had one recording by yourself you can also set the timer by yourself and if you want the pop out to not be floating around while you're recording this is the pop out that i'm talking about this tool that's showing at the side which is the brush and also the recorder if you don't want it to show you want it to be playing so people will know now okay you actually use x recorder you can as well hide it that's another thing you can do with this app so you can see the customized floating ball can turn it on and turn it off whichever one you feel like okay but for me i won't turn it off let me drag my picture down so you can be able to see what i'm talking about in that area so that's one of the things those are the things you can do with s recorder if you have any question you would like me to share more on don't worry comment i will definitely get back to you on that so i hope this is self-explanatory i hope you've seen the features and things you can do with s recorder and I hope you will be using it and trying it out for your business. Alright? Okay, so see you in the next video.